Mic testing, mic testing, texting, mic texting. Who is mic texting? Hey there! I know you've clicked on this video because who doesn't want to be more charming, more charismatic? Well, it's a basic human need to be liked and accepted by society. However, it is important to keep in mind that you cannot please everyone all the time. And I'm sure we've all been the bad guys in someone else's story. Having said that, there are still some things that you can do to improve your chances of leaving a lasting impression on someone, whether it is a business client, to your friends, someone you like and want to get to know them better, whatever the situation, with little practice, these tips will help you become more likable and definitely more fun to be around. Let's get into the smart stuff. Be a good conversationalist. A good conversationalist knows that conversations are carried forward by asking insightful and meaningful questions and providing detailed responses. So a good conversation that is enjoyable for everyone requires a give and take. So a bad conversation would look something like, Hey, so what kind of music do you like? You know, many different types. Oh, okay. So this response will most likely shut down the conversation as there are no details in here to ask any further questions. And you will probably just find yourself standing there awkwardly scrambling for things in your mind to say. A better way would be to answer the question and then elaborate on your response. It should look something like, Hey, what kind of music do you like? Oh, you know, many different types. Like these days, I'm really into independent artists and how Bollywood is trying to bring them into the mainstream. I think that's very interesting, don't you think? A pro tip would be to spend some time here and there learning about a wide range of topics. Having varied interests and hobbies will help you talk comfortably with just about anybody you meet. Who doesn't want that? Don't gossip about other people. This is something I personally find very off-putting. Gossiping can ruin reputations. If you frequently show people that you enjoy airing other people's dirty laundry, then you become a walking, talking red flag. It is also very likely that by gossiping, you are signaling to people that if you can talk poorly behind others' backs, then it's not too far-fetched to believe that you might do the same thing to them one day. You know, that's a good way to lose some friends. So if you want more people to confide in you, don't do it. Instead, talk about yourself, what's going on in your life, ask them about theirs. And if you have to talk about other people, then make sure to be more empathetic and don't indicate that you are deriving some sort of pleasure out of other people's misery. No, no. I mean, I really don't think I need to explain that. You're a good person, you know what's up. Call them by their names. People just love the sound of their own names. So you making an effort to remember someone else's name not only shows that you are paying attention to them, but it makes them feel special. And it also makes the exchange feel more personal. A name has the power to invoke emotions and feelings and memories. It is also said that a person's name is the sweetest sound to them. You will get their immediate attention attention for sure. Humans have a general tendency to monitor the social environment for self-relevant cues and this happens at a subconscious level. It is known as the cocktail party effect where even in a crowded noisy place if someone calls our name we will be able to pick up on it and it will get our attention even when we can barely make out what people around us are talking about. Cool right? Our names will always stand out to us. Be a good listener. If you have been watching my videos then you know that I cannot stress this one enough and if you're interested in learning more about how to be a good listener watch my video on nonverbal communication right after this one. You will find it somewhere up here. <laughs> here? You know, most often than not, people just want to be heard. If you can provide your 
undivided attention to someone, well, that person will love to spend more time with you. So if that's your goal, then learn more about listening skills. It is a virtue to inculcate the skill of active listening and to have the patience to listen to people just for trying to understand their point of view as opposed to listening to respond. A good listener emphasizes understanding over the need to always be right. And the last one on the list is always try to find the silver lining. To put it simply, try to be more optimistic. Negative occurrences may have some or the other positive aspect to them. And no, I am not asking you to bypass all of your genuine emotions and just always be happy. Ugh. AKA throw toxic positivity in other people's faces. Not at all. This one requires you to become more empathetic and in touch with your own emotional responses. People who frequently speak spend time introspecting on their feelings and thoughts generally have a better idea of how to handle difficult situations. So if you often take out the time to educate yourself on topics like psychology and philosophy, you will have a better chance of understanding the intricacies of the human experience. So naturally, instead of saying stuff like, just stay positive, it would be better to say, I know there is a lot that can go wrong, but what could go right? Do you want to talk about it? Instead of saying, good vibes only, try saying, I am here for you through all your emotional states. Don't say other people have it much worse. Instead say you are not alone and there is support available to help you. Don't say being negative won't help you. Try saying it's pretty normal to experience some negative emotions in this situation. Is there anything I can do to make it easier for you? Don't say you'll get over it. Instead try I know this is hard but you have done hard things before and I believe in you. Can you hear the difference between the two versions, one filled with toxic positivity and the other one eliciting feelings like hope and optimism. And people naturally gravitate towards other people who make even tough situations bearable with their light-hearted energy and a penchant for finding joy in the little things. I really hope you guys learned something new in this video. I had a lot of fun making it. I hope you had fun watching it. My goal is to help you and if you want to do something nice for me, then that would make you hella likeable. Go ahead, hit subscribe and smash that like button as well. I will see you in the next one.